Right now, we're going to go ahead to the phone lines. We've got Rend Collective on the line. Hi, this is Chris. I sing in Rend Collective and do all manner of Irish things in their bands. Okay. <laughs> do, do all sorts of, uh, of Irish things. What exactly does that entail? <laughs> That's why you need to come to Winter Jam to find out. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> okay, so my, you're, you're keeping all of your Irish secrets then. That's right. Um, honestly, it's a wee bit like River Dance meets uh, Hillsong United meets, I don't know, confetti. There you go. <laughs> like that. That. <laughs> That's my job description. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Are you guys ready for the show? I really am. You know, it's nice to start off in Jacksonville. Coming from Ireland, it's uh, it's living the dream here. There's a, there's a bit of sunshine. I'm starting to... <laughs> Starting to come out of hibernation. There you go. Do you guys get sunshine in uh, in Ireland, or is it just rain all the time? It's pretty much rain all the time. Yeah, with with brief windows into what it might be like to have a summer. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's sort of what it happens. Fair enough. Um, well, tell us a little bit about Winter Jam. You guys are on the road. Uh, you guys have been rehearsing the last few days. Newsboys United, Danny Gokey, Mandisa, Ledger, Holland, New Song, Adam Ag, Ty Brazel, and Manic Drive, and Dan Remnis. They're all there, too. So um, tell yeah, us, it, what do we expect? It's not- you know, it's unbelievable. I guess I've just been kind of getting oriented right now, you know, trying to find out where the coffee is. Cause that's the first thing you do on a tour if you want it to be successful. Yes. Um, and it's just amazing seeing all these kind of stars of Christian music. We haven't really spent much time with the newsboys and, and just seeing them over there, you know, Michael Tate trying to get his eggs for the morning. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of mind-blowing, you know, just to see all these, all these amazing artists and to realize that by the end of this tour, we're all going to be great friends, that we're all going to, um, I guess, just journey and find out how to worship Jesus together. It's such an exciting tour for us. We've never really been a part of anything like this. That's awesome. Well, we definitely wish you the best. Are you fanboying at all then? I think I am. Yeah, I think that's what you call it. (laughs) Um, uh, (laughs) You've diagnosed me. Did you grow up listening to Christian music? Did you grow up listening to other things? Well, um, I actually didn't become a Christian until I was 17. So I, I, I grew up listening to uh, a lot of what they called new metal music, which um, is a genre that has gladly died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, when I, be, when I became a Christian, when I was 17, when I gave my life to God, uh, you know, I, I was immediately introduced to, to some Christian music, uh, guys like maybe more old school, like uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman, uh, legends like that. Um, because in Northern Ireland, there, there really isn't a Christian music scene. Uh, even even today, when I, when I go home and say, hey, I'm in Christian music, uh, they say, that's nice. What do you do for a living? <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just not a real thing uh, back where I come from. So I've, I've learned a lot in the last couple of years about what Christian music is. And, uh, yeah, it's always amazing to be on tours like this and get the education. Uh, well, uh, hopefully you will you will know all of the Christian music. Well, at least you know, 10 other artists by the time you get off this three-month tour. It, it's our mission to have a cup of tea with everybody. There so you go. <laughs> I think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, you, you might have to, you might have to, um, you know, kind of educate most of us on, on what that, you know, a, a cup of tea that's kind of foreign. You mentioned coffee, mm. and to us Americans, that's like, right. we, we get that. The whole cup of tea thing yeah. is, is literally foreign to most of us. Well, that's it. You see, coffee is an essential. I mean, coffee is a functional drink. I, I, I need that. But tea is a social drink. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, that's where you, you know, coffee is what gets you out of bed in the morning. But tea is what turns strangers into friends. That's what we're hoping for <laughs> on this tour, is to, is to throw out a little Irish breakfast tea here and there and see who we can be best mates with. I love it. I love it. Well, um, tell us, um, you know, have you guys, I, I know you said you have never experienced, you know, something to this scale before on the road with mm. so many Christian artists. Uh, but what about this yeah. whole round stage thing? Have you guys ever, you know, performed in the round like this? You know, honestly, it's, if I can be vulnerable for a second, I think uh, actually it's producing some anxiety in me. I've never had to think so much about what I looked like from the back. <laughs> I've always just, you know, looked in the front of the mirror and thought that would be fine. But, but now I've got twice as much getting ready to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, honestly, we're, we're just glad of the extra space. Um, for, for us, um, 
we're the kind of people who don't really stand still. So uh, a little bit of extra room and a, a little bit of space to run about and, uh, and do, our, uh, do our dancing, that's, that's going to help us, I think. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, now, I, I, I am totally stalking you right now on Twitter, and uh, your mm. profile says that you are a Mario Kartist. Does this mean that, that you are correct. like, yeah. are you like top notch when it comes to Mario Kart? You just enjoy it. Let's delve into this a little bit. I think this is important. It's, yeah. It's, well, it's not Christian to brag, so I'm just going to keep it to the facts. I'm probably literally the greatest of our generation at Mario Kart. <laughs> that's well, an objective fact. That's I, a I'm fact. A, not not a brag. It's a fact. No, it's uh, no, it's not a brag. I would never do that. Uh, it's just that I have discovered that the truth is that that's one of the things the Lord's gifted me in. Uh, a great deal more than music, actually. <laughs> oh, <poor. laughs> oh, character of choice? Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi. Every time. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's, he's a good combination of... When you play Mario Kart to my level, you've got to consider the weight of the of the character. You can't be, you can't be using Bowser or, or Donkey Kong. You're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, they that. move too slow. That's right. Yoshi's exactly where you need to be. He's strong enough to shoulder people out of the way and light enough to be fast. There you go. You've uh, At least we've learned a little something today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I, Yoshi's cute and all, but yeah, I, I have to go with Princess Peach myself. But oh, you're you're a Peach, but yeah, uh, I, that yeah. can work. That can work. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that go well for people. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think I'm to your level yet, Chris, but I, I might get there someday. But I, I mean, I feel like I can hold my own. Well, actually, what happened was we uh, we started playing Mario Kart during the breaks. That we, like whenever we would get stuck in the studio and couldn't work out, oh my goodness, we're at this chorus, we're just never going to come up with the right lyric, that sort of thing. Uh, we would just have the Wii ready to go and we'd just take like a little two minute break. And it was all these little two minute breaks that kind of turned us all into Mario Kart obsessives. <laughs> You know, with the sort of people that like are on the forums and know all the secrets. It's actually it's pretty embarrassing. It's not something I've ever really talked about on the radio before. Well, hey, there's a first time for everything. And there, I, there is. Here I, we are. I, I, this is an expose about how brain collective wastes their time. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I'm glad that we can bring this to light because you know, second to Jesus <laughs> is obviously Mario Kart. So you know, as long as you've got your priorities straight, you know, we can we can worship the King and then we can beat all of our friends at Mario Kart. <laughs> like that seems like a good and then have tea. So that sounds like a good day to me. It sounds unbelievable. I'll, I'll take that any day. <laughs> do you guys get to do you get to play Mario Kart on the road at all? Do you think? Do you guys have something on your bus or something that you can you can play? Um, so our, our drummer um, and the percussionist in our band are married, and they have three kids, and they're they're massively into a thing called uh, Super Smash Brothers. Um, uh, that's the that's the game of choice, but unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to work quite hard on this tour. I don't know if I'm going to be able to become an expert. I'll, I'll just probably have to content myself for being average at Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess doing like three to four shows a week for the next three months seems a little intensive. Yeah. But if you don't have time for Mario Kart, you don't have time for Mario Kart. You got to prioritize. <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about these last few days uh, as you guys have been uh, prepping for Winter Jam. You guys have been doing mm. uh, some rehearsals and just kind of getting everything, I'm sure, you know, ready to go and all the all the pieces in the right places. Any any fun uh, stories? or? Yeah, well, we're just kind of shaking off the cobwebs, honestly. We've, we've been off for six weeks. Um, we always take our Decembers off um, just to try and make sure that we reconnect with our families, with our, with our churches back at home, and... Uh, and get some significant time, I guess, to be inspired again. So uh, coming back on this tour, I think we're all feeling really fresh. You know, we've all been spending some time uh, with God's people at church. We've all been spending some time in prayer and in Scripture. And uh, we're just feeling, to be honest, the musical preparation is important. But at this stage, it's, it's far more about uh, being in the presence of Jesus and actually carrying forward that authority. That, that's that's the preparation that we really need to do. And uh I'm excited to say. I feel like we're we're really ready. So uh, we're super excited about that. Listeners, you guys can check out uh, yeshome.com. Click on the concert beat if you want full details as to when you can see uh, Ren Collective plus many, many more uh, all in concert with Winter Jam 2019. Now, uh, Chris, you did mention uh, taking some time off for the holidays. And uh, for, for those of us here in America, we do, you know, we have our own traditions and then a lot of our families have traditions. Um, what, what happens in Ireland? 
Island. Is there anything fun or exciting or different that happens uh, either in your personal family or just kind of as a country? Here's the thing. We actually kind of, Christmas Day is our only thing. You know, you guys kind of divided over uh, over Thanksgiving as well. So you have an eating holiday that's separate to the, to the gift-giving holiday. And being in the States, I really enjoy that. <laughs> But there is something about back home in Ireland, there's just this one day of the year that everything converges on. It's the overeating day, it's the presents everywhere day, it's the, uh, it's the singing carols day, it's, it, everything happens at once. So it, it's, a real, it's a real event back at home. <laughs> oh, well, we are glad that, you are, that you're in the States and that you are ready to lead some worship uh, with all of us. And I'm sure that arena after arena is just going to be sold out and uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Uh, we wish you, you know, a, a lot of fun and a lot of uh, time together with other Christian artists and with mm-hmm. your with your band uh, as you guys embark on this Winter Jam tour. Yeah, well, thanks so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, well, thanks so much for spending that time with us today. And uh, good luck today. Get some coffee in you. Maybe take some time for okay. tea. And, of course, some time for prayer and devotion before you guys hit the stage tonight. Yeah, sounds great. Thank you so much.